Stone stalags of the 1930s and 40s constitute a high watermark in her career. She often included very typical elements in these stalags, such as the canary yellow background. Her studio in the Furs, her house in Cape Town, was painted that particular colour. She also was very fond of including objects from her personal collection. These were collected on her extensive trips throughout Africa for example, um, and then also uh, the foregrounding of uh, this particular area that seems to be jutting out to, into the space of uh, the viewers. Now there were a couple of flowers that uh, Stern was particularly fond of painting, such as chrysanthemums, uh, anthuriums, zinnias, lilies, and also uh, the dahlias, as you can see here. This particular work is uh, one of four dahlia, uh, one of five dahlia studies, and chronologically speaking, this comes fourth uh, in line. Um, she, of course, filled the picture plane with these uh, dahlias in full bloom, very colorful, and she puts it in this Chinese uh, uh, vase, and she also includes uh, Zanzibari frame. Stern painted this uh, wonderful still life after visiting Zanzibar in 1945. Her first visit there was in 1939. And so she fills the top half of the picture plane with these wonderful dahlias in full bloom, highly colorful, and she places them in this Chinese um, Martaban vase uh, and also including such uh, objects as the Zanzibari mat that you see there, on top of which she placed two bowls of fruit and then in this area a very dramatically sliced fork. She also, in addition to all of this, frames this in one of her very rare Zanzibari frames and the carvings of which echoes the flower motifs, as you can see. Stern was very concerned about her use of colour. She uses the still life to explore the formal qualities of painting such as colour and texture. And one must almost see these uh, still lives as a counterpoint to her usual portraits of family and friends on the other side and also of the exotic other uh, that she uh, painted uh, during her visits to the Congo, to Senegal, and later also to uh, Zanzibar. She was highly aware of her use of colour uh, and she uses this still life to explore the possibilities of colour. As early as 1930, in, uh, in an exhibition, she noted that uh, her paintings of these um, uh, figures all look the same. They're all brown with a bit of red or ochre, and she decided that her paintings, uh, uh, her flower still lives, was uh, the medium in which to explore uh, these uh, wonderful colour combinations.